Welcome to Oticon headquarters. This week, our clinical team here in Denmark has invited some of our American colleagues for a special visit. For the next four days, our Oticon colleagues will get their hands on the world's first hearing aids with user intent sensors, Oticon Intent. The purpose? To get really familiar with the newest technology, build some comfort and confidence with new elements of the fitting process, like using the new MoreSound Intelligence 3.0 feature for person-centered care, and to gain valuable clinical insight and feedback from hearing care professionals. We've even planned to test the hearing aids out in action with test participants who volunteered to try them out. Welcome to Fitting Week and the very first fittings with Oticon Intent. We kicked everything off with a deep dive into the amazing evidence behind Oticon Intent. We spent some time learning a lot more about 4D sensor technology. Next, we looked at the brand new Deep Neural Network 2.0. Naturally, we explored the Audible Contrast Threshold Test, or ACT. We headed into the clinic for some hands-on experience and started by checking out the new design. It's actually way smaller than the old one. Yeah, it feels more comfortable. It feels lighter in my ear. So I think we're going from a 312 battery to a 13 battery. That's correct. So that'll be a better battery power. The first thing I thought is what a game changer it's going to be. I mean, there's points for the HCPs and for patients that I think are going to be complete game changers. For the first time in 10 years, we've introduced a new speaker unit. It just kind of plugged right in and it's very comfortable. And I was saying before, it's just gonna sit way closer to the ear, so it's gonna be very inconspicuous. Yeah, yeah. more flush more over flush. here. Definitely. I agree. I think with intent, um, just with everything that's been going into the hardware and the software, it's allowing more time to be spent with the patient because you're not having to worry about whether or not you're fitting the wrong speaker on the hearing aid. The hearing aids are going to tell you that automatically. And then you also can go in and do ACT and that's automatically letting you do a hearing and noise test and that's going to give you your settings and MSI so you don't even have to really worry about that. You can actually worry about what's going on with your patient and counseling them to do better. I like that we simplified the fitting screen. We took all of the controls that aren't used as often and minimized them on the screen to make fittings more accurate, simpler, faster for our providers. Using ACT in the clinic today was so much easier <laughs> than I had expected to actually be able to implement it. It went very quickly. Um, so that was what actually surprised me. After a few days of great discussion and inspiring workshops, it was time to dive into the very first fittings with Oticon Intent. Our four volunteers completed diagnostic testing, including the audible contrast threshold for hearing and noise ability. They were then fitted with their new Oticon Intent hearing aids and speaker units personalized for their individual needs. It was time for a break, so we invited our volunteers for a coffee in a fun but challenging cafe environment. We hear much better and it's comfortable and um, well, actually very good. It was really a big difference. It, you kind of almost forget that, that you're wearing them. With a wealth of new insights and experiences to share, this is where our journey with Oticon Intent truly begins.